What's up, Final Fans? It's the Warrior of Hype, and man, it is time to get hype because the PlayStation Showcase is this week on May 24th. Here are five reasons to be as hype as I am right now. Reason number one, the PlayStation blog says, it's time to see what's next. PlayStation Showcase broadcasts live next Wednesday, May 24th at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern. The show will run over an hour, focusing on PS5 and PSVR 2 games in development from top studios from around the world. Expect a glimpse at several new creations from PlayStation Studios, as well as spellbinding games from our third party partners and indie creators. Well, Final Fantasy is spellbinding, and Square Enix is third party. Whew. Reason number two. At Millie A. Mand on Twitter says, Jim Ryan is solely focused on total mind share after the whole Microsoft and Activision business. Internal messaging has been to make a statement and make noise. I don't know about you, but it's that kind of thing, that kind of healthy competition that just makes me so excited and I love to see it in the gaming industry. Both Xbox and PlayStation are set to have major showcases featuring an insane amount of exciting games. I'm getting those E3 conferences of old kind of vibes here. 2023 has been amazing for video game releases, and we're about to find out that it's going to be incredible for game announcements. Reason number three, the Final Fantasy 16 launch trailer. I mean, you gotta think, listen, all eyes, the entire gaming community will have their eyes on this PlayStation showcase. If there was a moment to really just freaking nail this. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be at the PlayStation Showcase. This is not a state of play. This is the PlayStation Summer Showcase. And the state of play for Final Fantasy 16, they had the spotlight, they had the headline. So it's kinda like, you know, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, obviously you're watching that. But if you're not a Final Fantasy fan, maybe you were just like, nah, I can miss out on this one a little bit. Who knows? Maybe you're going to watch it, hope for Spider-Man 2. Maybe you didn't catch it. Maybe it just wasn't your thing to, to, to tune in. But now, the PlayStation Showcase, everybody's tuning into that. Every single gamer is tuning into this. It's time to sell them on Final Fantasy 16 if they haven't been sold on it already. You know, this is the moment. This is the must have Sony summer blockbuster for PS5. And they're going to sell it, man. This is it. This is the Final Fantasy 16 launch trailer is my opinion. That's what's going to be at the PlayStation showcase. I don't believe the demo will be there, but I've always said that hey, you got all the eyes on it. You got all the eyes on it if you say demo available after the show. I mean, that, that's pretty hype, but that's one month ahead of, uh, of of the actual game's release. And I just don't think that uh, Yoshi P said he wanted to do two weeks. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, either way, get excited for about uh, for some new Final Fantasy 16 uh, footage and a, tr a launch trailer. I'm kind of hoping for one of those, uh, uh, the, the Final Fantasy 15 uh, Omen trailer, where it was all like, it was like a concept, full motion, uh, or full motion, Jesus, uh, <laughs> a CG rendered, uh, uh, like a concept trailer, that was really cool, but anyways, maybe it'd have Eminem in it as well, <laughs> like Final Fantasy 15 did. Reason number four, let's talk about Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Reason number four, I think we're going to get a trailer. Reason number five, I think we're going to get a release date. Here's why. It was this time last year when we got the Final Fantasy VII 25th anniversary reveal of Crisis Core Reunion and a first look at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This winter and next winter were the release dates for those games respectively. Well... This winter meant December 13th, 2022 for Crisis Core Reunion. Well, 
next winter, which is this winter, mean December of 2023 of this year for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Two major Final Fantasy games in the same year? That's insane. That is insane for me to even comprehend. I don't think so. I stay true to my prediction of March 2024. That's my prediction. And I think we're going to see that release date after the trailer. I think we're going to get a, a nice, nice, healthy dosage of Final Fantasy VII footage in a trailer. It's going to have some gameplay. We're going to showca uh, showcase some locations and stuff like that. It's going to be the most hype thing ever. And I'm going to lose it. Uh, so this, <laughs> just those two things, those two games. Final Fantasy 16 launch trailer and a Final Fantasy 7 rebirth trailer. Mm -mm -mm. That's gonna that's gonna make for one heck of a reaction trailer, man. Uh, or a reaction. Now I'm gonna have that video up for you guys. Anyways, the reason why I think the release date to even back that up and support that even further. Well, in summer of 2019, Final Fantasy 7 remake got a uh, really great like five minute trailer i believe it was a big trailer and it had a playable demo on the show floor but at the end of that trailer it said march 3rd 2020 they set a release date at that time which means this is the same you know it, it would be the same kind of marketing strategy in a way if they want to use that we sh there was a, a moment of silence in between, a couple years of silence, and then a big five-minute trailer, a release date. Pre-orders went up, I believe, on that. I know they showed the pre-orders after the end of the trailer, but yeah. Um, I think it's time to get excited about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And, you know, a lot of people might think that they're going to try and stay out of the way of Final Fantasy XVI, but I personally believe it would only just bring that hype and excitement for the whole franchise and people are going to want to play 16 people are going to want to play rebirth you don't have to choose one or the other you can play both you know uh so so yeah i think i think it will uh it'll only serve to uh build on the excitement anyways all i'm saying is get hype for this playstation showcase on may 24th Thanks so much for watching. I do want to say thank you to everybody who came out and supported us during the um, the, the the big fundraiser event we had yesterday. That was an eight-hour stream. Woo! Never done that before. So that was kind of crazy. But, uh, man, we, we had a great turnout. We had some great game shows uh, and amazing guests. I do want to say a thank you to them because I didn't have it all listed out. But I'm just going to say that now. So uh, here's a big thank you to the icon Schrodinger's Baby Seal, Winkle, King Valvados, RG, The Icon, Skytron, Block Sheep, Herixment, Kiki, MCP Blackheart, Omega Optimus Supreme, Don Tilhas, The Icon, No Way, Amano, Suna, Tales of the Realm, Uprisen, Mr. Crow, Strife 98, Turquoise Hammer, Josh K, Subtext, Seven Deadly Streamers, The Icon, Christian, The Noisy One, Sing 4D Laughter, Peeps Nibbles, Drum Jod, Bam, 5, O, 2, 5, and The Icon, Badly Brave. I want to say thank you guys for supporting um, the fundraiser, the bar. If you're watching this this far you got all the way to the end of the video and you're still yeah i'd like to support final fan tv uh you can go to coffee.com slash final fan tv ko f i dot com slash final fan tv uh we are going to la we are going to be reporting from summer game fest live for rose from the stage and we are in talks with square enix nothing's confirmed as of this moment but we're hoping to get to that Final Fantasy 16 pre-launch celebration in LA and uh, bring you some excite bring you the excitement of that launch event to you uh, with hopefully some interviews got some gameplay uh, that's the kind of stuff that I'm hoping to bring for you so if that all happens that's what that money from the fundraiser will go to if not it's a general fundraiser for Final Fantasy TV to keep bringing the hype for Final Fantasy 7 rebirth after 16 all right Thank you so much for watching this one. Take care now. Bye-bye then.